Hey foxes, welcome back to my channel. Look at my background right now, like this looks so cool. So the lights that I have in the back here, actually I can change them to any color that I want. So I thought I would do like a red background and then change the lights to like a hot pink and it looks really cool. Like it's very distracting in my mirror. I keep seeing just like this glowing pink background. Anyways, today I thought we would do like a get ready with me kind of video. I haven't done one of these in a little bit and kind of update you guys about Nashville. I've seen a lot of questions about Nashville. So I'm gonna try and hit some of those in this video. But before we get any further, this video is sponsored by IGK. Thank you so much IGK for working with me. My hair is like super greasy right now. So once I finish this look, I'm going to be applying the IGK first class dry shampoo, which is one of my absolute favorite dry shampoos. You guys have seen my before and after picture with this. This is a charcoal detox shampoo. It um, basically cleanses even the oiliest of hair. My hair is really oily right now. It also provides UV and heat protectant. So like if you're going to do your hair and then you're going to go out in the sun or you're going to heat style your hair, you are totally safe. Safe. So you spray that in there and you're gonna wait 30 seconds before you kind of rub it in I just got my roots done a little bit darker and the cool thing about this is that it does not leave any white residue whatsoever This is one of my holy grail dry shampoos and with my road trip coming up to Nashville and just like only washing my hair about once a week. This is one of the only dry shampoos that will actually clean my hair well enough so I can actually go that long because I do get oily hair. The cool thing too is it comes in two little sizes. You guys are gonna love this dry shampoo. So I'm just saying, if you are in the market for a new dry shampoo, I urge you to check it out. You're absolutely going to love it. I will link it for you guys in the description box below, but let's go ahead and get started with this video. I don't really know what I'm gonna do for this look. Um, I'm going to an adult toy party tonight at my friend's house. I had one at my house and she loved the host so much that she decided to throw one herself. So I think we're gonna use the NYX Modern Dreamer palette. I've really been liking this palette because pretty much anything my little heart desires, like I can create with this. So I think we're gonna go in with this palette. First starters, I'm gonna take the Derma Blend Instagrip Jelly Primer and I'm gonna put this all over my face. A little goes a long way with this stuff. Oh, I think I have a pinched nerve like down here by my elbow because ugh, the past few days, anytime I'm trying to press something or use like my fingers, <laughs> um, it just starts hurting. And like, it's been hard at the gym too, trying to like lift stuff with that. I don't know what the deal is, but I would really, love it if it would go away. Okay, as always, I'm gonna do my eyes first because I think we're gonna do a darker eye look. There's gonna be a lot of color in this, I think. My, my background is inspiring me. I'm gonna be using the Juvia's Place Concealer in 20. Looks like this. I love how large this packaging is and the doe foot is like giant. I really like that. It's towards the end of August, so uh, when I'm filming this, by the time you guys see this, I will be counting down the days to actually moving. I'm gonna be moving at the end of September and I still need to actually book like the motorhome and everything. If you guys haven't seen that, like the videos about like kind of, like you're jumping into episode three <laughs> right now, if you haven't seen the other videos about like where I'm moving, why, what happened, why I'm not already in Nashville, etc. cetera. Um, so if you want, you can go back and check those out. I am going to be going in with this one or that one, maybe both of them. And then I'm going to use these in the crease and we do that on the inner corner. So last time I booked the motor home, I actually ended up losing out on about $3,000 because we postponed the moving date or I did. And I ended up not being able to like get that money back. Also the motor home that we ended up getting the fridge didn't even work in it. It was a really dirty motorhome. I think it was Cruise America that we got it from. It was really dirty. So I'm trying to figure out another motorhome rental place to book. Oh my gosh, my elbow is hurting. <laughs> Oh, hashtag over the hill. <laughs> Anybody that's over 30. It always throws me off when I don't have a base on because like I've got like freckles and stuff over here. So it always makes my eyeshadow look uneven. And sometimes it just straight up is uneven, but um, it'll, it'll come together. Right here next, that's powdery. I'm basically living out of boxes right now. Like I've got some makeup out, but one of the reasons why I've been using this eyeshadow palette a lot too is because I don't really have any other eyeshadow palettes out. Like I just have like a few, pretty much like the whole house is packed and I'm <laughs> limited on like what I can actually use. Okay, I love this eyeshadow palette. I'm like pretty impressed with the payoff and the shade selection. I love it. 
So, been living out of boxes and a lot of people have asked me what is in Nashville that isn't here. The number one thing that drew me to Nashville is just the fact that I love Nashville. I love country music. I think the people there are super, super nice. Food scene is amazing. And then I found out that there is no state income tax in Nashville. And I spend a lot of money and I pay a lot of money for state income tax here in California. So the fact that there isn't any in Tennessee really uh, was exciting to me is exciting to me. I'm like a country girl at heart. Like I just wanna live on like 10 acres with chickens and horses and just have like a little farm and like live my little farm girl life. <laughs> I will be doing an empty tour of the house. It'll just take me a little bit of time. I will be doing that for those of you that have been asking. The first house I bought is actually only two miles away from downtown and that doesn't appeal to me to live there long term like that. It is more of an investment property so that once I get my bearings and I learn where I want to buy my like more like forever home, I'll be able to rent this one out long term because of the location is so good. Okay, I'm gonna take this guy and a little bit of this one, but mostly this one and put it on the lid area. Actually, I'm just gonna do this with my finger. It's not applying very well, actually. I mean, we could do better. We could do better. Oh, there it is. Living out of boxes, I'm telling you. Like, I just have like two of these like full of my makeup. Oh my gosh, it matches the background so good. <laughs> so aside from those, uh, things that I just mentioned about Nashville. I love country music. Gas here is like $4.25 and in Nashville, it is uh, $2.65. I called about changing my um, car insurance and everything. The price for my car insurance in Nashville is $130 less than it is here. And that's just one thing. My cable will be like, my cable and internet's gonna be like $60 cheaper. Overall cost of living in Nashville is less expensive than California. Property taxes, sales tax, all the different taxes. Like, don't get me wrong, I love California. I'm from California, I'm from San Diego. I actually might even get an apartment here because the Arctic Fox office is not moving. It's going to stay here. Um, so I kind of thought it might be a good idea to get an office here, or not an office here, I'm sorry, an apartment. So we'll see, I'm gonna do a little cost analysis on that and see what happens. I went ahead and put my brows on and lashes off camera. I'll share with you what I used for my brows. I used three different things. So first I went in with the Hourglass Brow Micro Sculpting Pencil in about three different shades. I did the blonde, the soft brunette, and the dark brunette. And then I went in with the Neutral Nana Urban Decay Brow Blade. This has the ink like side on the one side and then like a pencil on the other. So I used both of those sides and then I finished it off with the Hourglass Brow Gel in Warm Brunette. I probably shouldn't be using a warm one, but whatever. So I did those three and then the lashes that I have on are just like these like little Ardell ones from like CVS I think I bought them at. I've been liking like really neutral lashes lately because I just hate the feeling of like heavy lashes. So if I'm gonna go out somewhere after I do a makeup look, I typically have been steering towards like really like lighter ones that just aren't gonna make my eyes red. And I don't know, my eyes just get really irritated. Oh my gosh, something just fell on my eye. No! Let's go ahead and do a little bit of contouring. I haven't used this product in a while, but it's actually one of my favorites. This is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter Palette. This has the powder on one side and then the um, cream on the other. And it's also got a highlight in there, which is awesome. I did like ask me a question or whatever on Instagram. So I'm gonna pull it up right now and just answer a couple of these for you that I got, didn't get a chance to answer on my actual story. When is your next video going up on your animal channel? If you guys didn't know, I do have an animal channel here on Instagram and I haven't uploaded on that one for a little while just because my whole like animal garage and area is kind of like, ugh, it's kind of like a mess right now because I was planning on moving. So like a lot of stuff is in boxes and it's just like not super like organized, but I do um, need to film a couple other videos for that. I had my notes down of one that I was gonna film and I haven't been able to find those notes again. So I need to find those so I can film. But I do, uh, I will be uploading, um, if not this month, uh, September on the animal channel for sure. But I'll link it for you guys in the description box below if you didn't even know that I had an animal channel and 
you want to check it out. There's a lot of stuff over there that you can binge watch if you have never been over there, there's gonna be a lot of stuff for you. Someone said, uh, what have you ever dealt with anxiety and depression? Um, actually, I was planning on making a video about the anxiety that I've actually been experiencing. So this whole home buying process has been so utterly stressful for me on top of like my life that is already hectic and crazy and busy and stressful. Well, if you wanna see it, let me know. But like, I have been wanting to hear from you. Like I've never experienced anxiety like this my whole life like when I have to speak in front of a large group of people or something like that I do tend to get a little stressed out so that would be normal for me to get like stressed out about something like that and have like a little bit of anxiety and whatnot but what I've been experiencing is a whole different level of anxiety yeah the past two months I'd say I've been having some pretty gnarly anxiety like I was trying to figure out I'm like what is going on because I've never I, I have never experienced it before like the night before I was gonna move I went out to meet somebody that I hadn't seen in a really long time and I felt so like sick the whole time like I felt like I was going in and out of like literally about to either throw up or pass out I is not something that I have experienced before but I think just with all the stress of the credit card fraud and all this stuff I've been experiencing it. I've had like sweaty hands for like the past two months my heart will start racing for no reason reason like even if I'm just sitting at home like on the couch or something like I'll just start like having hot flashes I haven't really figured out a way to deal with it because it's something that's new for me so if you guys do have methods to deal with like anxiety like that like please let me know like it's been actually really tough to deal with I'm gonna use the morphe prep and set I was getting my nails done the other day and I was like, oh, it's so hard to press this with this like elbow thing going on that I have. I was getting my nails done the other day and I, she was just like, your hands are so sweaty. And I'm like, I know, like I've never experienced sweaty hands before. That's like just never been something that I've had an issue with. So yeah, it's just been kind of a sucky thing to deal with. And I really feel for people who deal with this like on a regular basis because, and I'm just hoping that it goes away because I don't know what to do about it. So if you guys have any information for Kristen here, please let me know. Cause I would just love to hear how you guys deal with it and like pass it. Okay, this, this lip liner is the NYX lip liner in ever. It's a very creative name. <laughs> so I guess to answer that person's question, I have never had to deal with anxiety except till like recently and it has been not fun. I'm gonna fill in my lips with this right now too. I'm gonna put on a little bit of lip gloss. This is That's Cool by Dose of Colors. Last question, someone said, if you could meet one person, why am I still holding this? I'm like, er. uh, if you could meet one person living or dead, who would it be? It would definitely be Lucille Ball. Lucille Ball was an amazing woman. Like I strive to be like her in the sense of her business, her wit, her charm. Like I just think she was a badass and like just did so many things that no women had ever done at that point. I actually have dreams about her often. Like I'll dream that like I get to go back in time and like talk to her about like just different things. I'm like, oh yeah, like we've got like washers and dryers and like they load from the front and like all this like nerdy stuff. And I wake up like all happy and stoked. And then I realized that it was just a dream and it wasn't real life. And I get a little bummed. Dreams are rad. Like you get to experience things like that feel so real even though they're not. All right, that brings us to the end of this get ready with me. Look how not greasy my hair is anymore. This stuff is amazing. So again, if you wanna check that out, I'll uh, link it for you guys in the description box below. Thanks for hanging out and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed yourself. And as always, we will see y'all in the next video.